Hello, everyone. This is Madra. Welcome to Kingdom Motivation. I have a quick grammar word to the chosen ones of God. Hey, everybody. This is Madra with Kingdom Motivation. Welcome. I hope you're having a blessed day. I want to speak life to the chosen ones of God about the concept of being chosen. It's a lot of videos out there floating around about chosen, but God is calling calling a few people out and um, dealing with the, some of us about really speaking to his true, true chosen ones, chosen ones. <laughs> um, there is a verse in the Bible that used to confuse me. Many years ago, I would always wonder about it. And um, one night God gave me a dream back in 2001. It was many years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. And I won't go into the details of the dream today. You know, I may talk about it on another video, but I want to make this quick and to the point, but still give you the meat of what God wants me to bring out today. And at the end of the dream, um, I woke up and I knew it was a prophetic dream. It bothered me. I got up, I went to the bathroom, washed my face, looked in the mirror and prayed. I said, Lord, what did that mean? You know, it was almost like a vision of Jesus and he opened his mouth and there was a rainbow. He opened his eyes, there was a rainbow. And I sensed it was dealing with the covenant of God or the agreement of God with his people, right? But. When I asked the Lord, what did it mean? I heard these words in my spirit. Holy Spirit said, many are called, but few are chosen. And it messed me up because I didn't understand it. And I, I don't think I slept well the rest of the night. But anyway, a journey began, I can tell you that. And over the next years of the course of my life, he began to train me and deal with me on um, getting closer to him, getting in his word. But anyway, I later found out there was actually a verse in the Bible that many are called, but few are chosen. So God is calling many people. God calls many people to him to do a greater work or a certain work in him. Some people's callings are different. It does not matter, but um, the main thing is that he calls many people, but only a few are chosen. And I later found out that there was this verse, and I'll put it up here on the screen, Isaiah 48 and 10, I believe it was. It may be something different, but the essence of that verse, I'm gonna paraphrase it, is that God chooses people out of the furnace of affliction, right? So a lot of people don't want to go through what they have to go through to get chosen. Even though God is calling them, they may start out real well and they may get in the middle of the process and give up because the furnace of affliction is so hot and the trials that they go through are so challenging. They give up their faith. They think God is not with them. They think they're on the wrong path. They give up on their dream and what God put in them to do and they give up. And so they come out of that um, growth process or spiritual awakening or the furnace of affliction. It's hot. It's the fire of God. And the fire of God will burn up everything that does not need to be there. But he'll put some things in you that you need to blaze a trail for his kingdom in this world, right? And so many are called, but few are chosen because a lot of people don't want to go through that furnace of affliction. But Ephesians 1 and 11 assures us that, you know, God predestined us to come into this world and to do a certain thing. You have a certain purpose. You're chosen, right? And you come from your father, the father of spirits, but you have to go through certain things to get to where he wants you to be. So those are the true chosen of God. And I believe that if he led you to this video, you are among those people. And I want to tell you to not to give up on your faith. You may be going through some things that may feel like God is not with you, 
you may be going through what you feel like is hell or death or that you're dying off your flesh may be dying off but your spirit man is going to emerge you're going to emerge a new person in christ many people that talked about you and went against you are going to be apologetic some of them may not say anything but they'll regret it because a lot of what you go through people misunderstand it and they don't know that god is putting you through that furnace of affliction for a purpose so you know this was just a quick word to encourage you about being in that furnace of affliction and just to remind you you know god has not forgotten about you he loves you he's for you he has a plan for you just don't give up chosen one because many are called but few are chosen and i believe that you're going to be among the few that are chosen Amen. Talk soon.